Because it has the country's largest airport, many tourists stop there on their way to other parts of the country. A frequent question from these visitors is, what to do in Warsaw in one day? This is what I will respond here, based on what I learned during my 5 years in the city. Because the majority of the recommendations are based on my personal experience, you may be curious as to why I'm, I'm writing them. So, it's the profile of some random guy in his 30s who enjoys history, nice deals and a few drinks at night. And this guide will be very useful if you like any of those things. However, before we begin, I would like to ask a small favor. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. So let's start with the idea of uh, making a walking or biking tour in Warsaw. And there are many tours available in the city, including a great free walking tour departing from the royal castle. The advantage of walking tours is that it's limited by the average human walking speed, so it does not cover a large area like, for example, the Vistula River Bank. Since you want to make the most of your time, an idea is to opt for a bike tour with experienced bikes, bike rental included, and they can even lend you a helmet if you request. You can find a link in the description of this video. The next idea is to visit the Palace of Culture and Science. The PKIN, or in English, the Palace of Culture and Science, for many Varsovians is a debatable structure. Because many people say it has a historical souvenir from a difficult and painful past. There are even projects to demolish it. This massive building holds approximately 3,000 different rooms, including restaurants, a university, theaters, cinemas, offices, conference and performance halls, and even a swimming pool, and is a perfect example of the 1950s Soviet style. The interiors are covered with marble and mosaics, and the light of the sun pours through the massive windows, adding to this kind of one-of-a-kind feels of the site. The visitors or those that goes until the floor number 30 are greeted with a magnificent view of Warsaw after reaching the terrace. Simply said, you must see to understand it. After spending around one hour at the palace, head to the next attraction, the Warsaw Uprising Museum. But be aware that this museum is one of the most popular places in the country, so the lines may be very long. If you have only 24 hours in Warsaw, it's a good idea to buy a tour package that includes guides and a skip the line entrance. You can find one of those links also in the description. And the Warsaw Upright Museum is very unique. Essentially, it will transport you back to time, to 1944. The multimedia display just opposes the growing volunteers' resistance and daily life with the occupation of trustees the complex international environment, the communist tyranny after the war, and the fate in this new scenario. Images and sounds depict the days leading up to the rising, its stage and final collapse. Over 1,000 original exhibits, 1,500 pictures and films are available. And one of the highlights is that you can watch a 5-minute 3D simulation of a flyover over a devastated Warsaw. It is absolutely a must-see for everyone visiting Warsaw. Now let's talk about one of the most popular ideas, hop-on, hop-off bus in Warsaw. Is it a good idea? Because it's a common place to recommend these hop-on, hop-off buses when you have a short time to spend in a large city like Warsaw. And in a certain way that makes sense, the bus saves you a lot of time and takes you back and forth to the most important destinations. But there is a problem with hop-on, hop-off tours. They may get stuck in traffic, and Warsaw has a lot of traffic during weekdays. So, putting that aside, here is my conclusion about what you can do and should do if you visit Warsaw for only one day. Make a free walking tour or purchase a biking tour from my suggestion from 10.30 to 13. Visit the Palace of Culture and Science from 13 to 14.30. Visit the Warsaw Uprising Museum from 15 to 17. And if you have the night free, go to the Old Town. So, what do you think about this program? Have you ever visited Warsaw? Do you have any other suggestion? Let me know in the comment section. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember to subscribe to our channel for the next ones.